Well, maybe it'll work this time. There we go. No, it's not Baird. Guys, this is Daniel and Emily from Arms Family Homestead. And this is Gemma, Emily's little puppy that she got for her birthday just a couple weeks ago. We hadn't talked about her a whole lot on the channel, but we just got home from church earlier and uh, Gemma was outside playing and we didn't really know anything happened, but Emily came to me a while ago and said, Gemma's got blood on her nose and every time I touch her, um, she screams. But as you can see, looky here, she's a, Gemma's a registered uh, miniature dachshund. But look, you can see the two fang marks on her nose. But look at the swelling, look how much she's swelling up already. And this happened probably an hour ago, an hour ago we think. Um, we did give her just a little bit of Benadryl, not much, like a milliliter or two. And we've had a lot of dogs that, well, not a lot of dogs. <laughs> we've had a lot of snake bite issues over the years with dogs. It happens from time to time. Uh, we don't, we're not taking to the vet. It's holiday weekend right now. And we're gonna try to avoid the whole vet situation completely if we can. Um, if, at the very minimal, we don't wanna have a doctor visit, vet visit on a holiday weekend right now. That'd be super expensive. But we're gonna keep an eye on her. Like I was saying, we've had several dogs get bit by snakes over the years. More than likely it was a copperhead. You can see where the two fang marks are. They're not very far apart, so I don't think it was anything like a big rattlesnake. Um, copperheads are what we have a lot of here. They're super, super um, common in our area. Rattlesnakes are pretty rare, but we got home from vacation. You know, yesterday we got home late last night about 10.30 and we mowed all the grass before we left we get home and the grass is literally like a foot tall in a lot of places so Gemma is out in the yard you can barely see her in the in the grass because it grows so fast this time of year so i guess she was outside playing in the yard and found a copperhead um as you can see she's she's um not feeling very good at all we just gave her like i said a little bit of benadryl just a few minutes ago that's not kicked in yet that's not what's causing this this is all from from the uh, the snake bite, so we're gonna keep a really close watch on her, and hopefully she does okay. Like I said, we've had a lot of puppies, a lot of dogs over the years that have had snake bites. Uh, my wife and I used to actually raise miniature dachshunds. We had quite a few females, like ten females and two males for a long time. The youngest one we ever had get snake bitten was probably what six weeks old, um, and it it recovered just fine. They swell up like that for for several days and obviously they're not feeling feeling good at all um but i've never i've never once lost a dog to a snake bite so hopefully we don't have to worry about anything like that um, but we're going to keep an eye on the swelling since it is on her face uh, and make sure she's breathing we want to make sure she her airway doesn't get blocked off or anything like that um i don't think it'll swell up too much more but you can tell she sure doesn't feel good I'm gonna scroll back and read a few comments, guys. I haven't hadn't seen anything comment-wise. Um, everything I read online, Angie's Pantry said um, ice pack, use an ice pack. Everything I read online said not to use an ice pack. I'm not real sure why, but it said not to. Um, but I read several websites that said Benadryl's okay. Benadryl will help with that allergic reaction that she's having. Um, and like I said, we're probably not gonna try to go find a vet on a holiday weekend. I just don't think that would be a great idea. So, but anyways, I just wanted to pop on here for a little while and, and show you guys what we had going on. We did make it back from vacation last night about 1030. So we're back home, at least for a little while. DJ and I have big plans in a few days. So, um, I know we hadn't shown Gemma on the channel much at all, but it was just kind of something I wanted to share with you guys and see if anybody else had any tips out there. Um, C. Mason Mountain says, have you been been hit by a snake? No, I haven't. I've never been bit by a snake. Um, we think it was a copperhead that bit her, Christine. I'm not sure. We didn't see it happen and I didn't see the snake. Uh, Weston's outside mowing right now, uh, trying to get everything knocked down and cleaned up, but I really don't even know where it happened. Tommy or Tony Tony Ollie says cut one tomato in half and and put it on the bite. I've never heard of tomato putting tomato on there. That one's a new one. 
there's some, they said put some baking soda on the side and it will pull the toxins out or castor oil. We don't have castor oil, but I bet we do have some baking soda. So we're just gonna watch her for a little while. See how the swelling does to make sure she's breathing good. Um, anywho, Emily's a little worried about her, I think. I think Emily's more worried than the rest of us. It's her little puppy. Uh, Houston is not mowing the yard, C. Mason Mountain. It's Weston, and he's on a riding lawnmower. Weston is 16. Houston's five. He's not going to be out there mowing. <laughs> um, Don, he says, do what you're doing and don't try any home remedies. Well, we may, we may uh, just keep an eye on her, like I said, for a little while. Um, I've lived in this area basically my whole life and copperheads copperhead snakes are one thing we've we've killed tons of them over the years and always always seems like every year we end up with at least one dog with a, a snake bite from a copperhead and like i said i've never lost a dog to a snake bite they all pull through it just fine they're they're tougher than what you think but it sure is a little more scary when it's when it's emily's little baby huh emily mm -hmm. it's one thing when it's an outside dog that's you know, like bear. I mean, we love bear, but we're not quite as attached. I'm not as attached as she is to this little puppy. This is her baby. She goes everywhere with her. So, anywho, uh, other news: we just sold the four. Let's see, four, five baby goats this morning. Got home. I actually sold them before we left. A uh, couple had had uh, wanted to come buy some goats, but we couldn't line everything out, so they came and picked them up today. So all the little does except Skip and Spot have been sold. Let's see, what else is going on? The garden, oh my gosh, guys. Um, I'll, I'll probably do a little video in the garden later. You know, after we've been gone for eight days, it's it's a mess out there. And as far as the deer situation with the uh, Premier One fence, I'm not gonna let the secret out on that deal. I'll have to, we'll fill you in on the next video on that. So we'll we'll video that out and, and um, I think you guys will like the results maybe i don't know let's see 131 people watching mom let me see. anything you want to say what was your favorite part about florida Mom, um just being on the beach just being on the beach have you got did you guys watch our playlist all of our videos from florida <laughs> oh here comes weston got his earphones in <laughs> what? Farm All Fanatic left us a $5 super chat. That's awesome. It's hot outside. Here's money for a cold one. Man, I appreciate that. If you're living for the outdoors, you're supposed to tell me when you're going live. Well, I just popped on here. It was just kind of a quick spur of the moment thing. I hadn't posted a video in several days, and we've been trying to get caught up around the house after, after making it home from Florida. And as you can see, I don't know if you just got on here, buddy, but... We got a we got a snake bitten puppy. Gemma got bit by a snake today. She's all swollen up. So it's kind of the pits. Let's see. Um, where's Dutch? I don't know, man. I hadn't called Dutch. hadn't talked to Dutch since early this morning. Let's see. What else? That's about all I've got, I guess, guys. 140 people watching. That's pretty awesome. Go watch my channel. <laughs> Emily says go watch her channel. She's Emily Faith. She's got a YouTube channel. She's been working on a couple of videos today about slime. Emily's into the slime videos. She hadn't posted anything in a while, but she's working on a couple today to post. So someone said, Peter or Pete said, watching from Ontario, Canada. That is cool. That's so awesome that, that we can connect with people all over the world through just this this little YouTube channel. Um, it's, it's so neat. Uh, if you're living for life, said, oh, dang, copperhead, question mark. Yeah, we think it was a copperhead. Like I said earlier in the video, um, that's pretty much the most common snake we have around here. Lots and lots of copperheads, so that's probably what it was. Anywho, yeah, we, we it's just amazing. I, I love how this YouTube channel has brought us um, in contact with so many people around the world. It's so neat to see everybody watching, so... Uh, let's see. See Mason Mountain. Can we visit you sometime? We live 30 minutes away. Where do y'all live at? Obviously, you don't live too far away. 
you've probably told me before and I just don't remember. Tom Tom, Southern Germany. They're watching from wow, Southern Germany. That is crazy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hi from Tennessee. I love it there. I've yeah. been there. These two women love Tennessee. They really like Nashville. We went and visited. North Carolina. Fayetteville, North Carolina, Alaska. Ooh, Alabama. Smith Station, Alabama, Maine, New Jersey, Georgia, the Netherlands. Oh my god. What's that? The Netherlands? Exactly. What's that? <laughs> it's it's a country a long ways away from here. Oregon. South Carolina. Italy. Oh man. I oh think my wife god. would love to visit Italy someday. She's a big Italian food fan. Yeah. I'd love to go there. Have I ever hunted in Michigan? No, I have not. Oh my Holy gosh. cow, we got like <laughs> fifty comments all at once. Yeah. Just trying to keep up with it. Mobile, Alabama, we were there yesterday, yeah, just passing uh, through. Bronx, New York, Kansas, Indianapolis, Fort Worth. That's so awesome, guys. So many Texas. comments. Colorado, Texas. California. Um, anyone ever build an, a, a Glock 19 Ghost? No, I hadn't, I hadn't built too many custom pistols. Salisaw, Oklahoma in the house. Um, Ohio, Florida. Christine says, if you have liquid Benadryl, it works a little faster. We gave her just a couple milliliters of children's liquid Benadryl. So hopefully that'll help. Um, Donnie Chapman says, do you carry a pistol away from work? Yes, I do. I carry a pistol almost every day. Not at the beach. I didn't carry a pistol at the beach, but um, on normal days, I do carry a pistol concealed off duty. Um... Cranky Diesel, what kind of truck do you have? A Chevrolet half ton, 2015 or 16. Um, Pure Living for Life said, hey DJ, what do you do? I have to talk you into bringing, what do I have to do to talk you into bringing Daniel up Grand Lake and stay in the cabin so we can fish? Oh, that sounds fun. What? <laughs> is there air conditioning? Is there air conditioning? Yeah, there's air conditioning. <laughs> in the cabin? It's a fully furnished cabin, yeah. Oh, well, most of We just gotta find some days out. to make it up there and do it. Yeah. I really, I really enjoy the fishing videos, and I know a lot of people like watching them. So we'll get up there and, and, and get on Grand Lake and do some crappie fishing. Um, Holly Cushman said, "You still going to Tampa? Rain, rain, rain here in Florida." So yes, but we're not leaving, and we're not leaving here until Tuesday evening. So we won't be doing anything in the Tampa area until Wednesday, and it kind of looks like from everything we've been watching on the weather, everything should um, should clear out, and hopefully. Be nice down there. Honestly. We'll see. Grand uh, Lakes has nice cabins. Grand Lake has nice cabins. Uh, Pure Living for Life, his uh, folks have a cabin up there on the lake, and that's what he was talking about in the comment while ago. So, oh. well, a lot of times you've talked to me about cabins, like real, like you can't live in them. Cabins. Yeah, just just a, a four wall yeah. cabin. Yeah, and I, I need air conditioning in the summer. Now, uh, I understand. So, anyways, guys, I'm not going to keep on here and stay on here long. This was just supposed to be just a quick little live stream I wanted to share with you about Emily's puppy. So, um, she'll be okay, I hope. We'll keep you guys updated and, and show you what's going on, show you her progress, at least for a couple days. Um, until, well, DJ and I are going to leave in a couple days. But we'll keep an eye on her and make sure she's all right. I'll flip you guys around there real quick. Hello. She'll be okay, I think. She's just, she's just struggling a lot now. She's kind of hurting. But like I said, I've I've uh, had several dogs with with snake bites over the years, and and they usually all pull through it just fine within a few days, without any extra help. So you just kind of feel bad for her. I mean, that is the most sad looking thing you ever seen in your life, right there, isn't it? Poor baby. Well, guys. I think that's all. We're going to get off of here. Like I said, I didn't want to make this a long video. We just kind of wanted to show you what was going on and show you what was happening. Bet, so, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We really do appreciate it. We love you. We appreciate all the support on the channel. It's so awesome being able to connect with people around the country, around the world. It's just, it's so neat. So awesome. And uh, anything you want to say, Emily? Nope. Okay, thank you very much. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Right. We'll see you on the video. Well, whoo, messed that all up. Man, see when you're editing videos... You, you just do it until you get it right. So, 
I'm so confused. I'm so confused. It's so hard to do it. <laughs> you put me on the spot, man. You put me on the spot. So I always say, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Y'all have a great day, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Got it that time.